All right, guys, so what's up? What's happening? This is my new setup. As you can tell, I'm in front of a desk now, professional, if you will. I'm a boss, like the sign says. Yeah, a boss, I said it. Um, we're going to be looking at the Wick T today. We're going to take a look at some pictures, some photos, you know, some of them nice things I usually do, some of them graphics, dem graphics, if you will. But yeah, uh, let's do that, and uh, yeah, let's do this. So, all right guys, it's been a minute since we've done a review, and actually I've had this product probably a good solid two months, or however, whenever it came out is when I got it. Um, it comes in this nice little package, if you will. Uh, yeah, so the thing is, there was some, some controversy around it a little bit, because, well, this is the Wicked right here. I know it's a little bit hard to see because I'm a little bit far away, if you will, but people wanted the vape to be sort of like the Wicked. Now it wasn't. A little bit different, a little bit more restricted, a little bit more restrictive, if you will. Uh, it, it wasn't as as it wasn't a bad vape, but you had to do a certain little dance with it to make it a good vape. Now, what I mean with that is, you can't just throw a big ass Clapton coil in it like you could in the Wicked and feel like it was cool. But if you put like some round wire, some small Clapton, there was a few things they could have changed on this RDTA that I felt like it would have been super dope, super clean, very nice looking. Now they didn't. And I will show you those little things that I don't like. And yeah, we'll discuss it. We'll talk about it. We'll do it. We'll do the damn thing, if you will. So yeah, let's drop down to the table. Let's do this. All right, guys. So this is the packaging the little Gemski itself comes in. Uh, not bad. You know what I mean? Nice little extra package for you to have just to put some of your vape shit in. You know what I mean? Because we got a lot of vape shit. Just let's be honest. I mean, let's be real. Too much vape shit, not enough space. So you open it up, and not bad. Like I said, you can put a little, uh, you put some coils in this bitch, or you can put some cotton. Maybe you bought the cotton from Premium Bait Supply. I don't know, you know? Maybe that's some uh, Kevin Bacon. I mean, cotton bacon. So yeah, that's the package. Not a bad package. Taking a look at the little extra bag, we have a plethora, if you will. A plethora of O-rings, a non-squonk pin, a uh, extra grubby screws if you will not the little baby kind either nice little grub screw size nice deal also inside your package will be I believe there was the two Allen key sizes one for your squonk or non squonk pin and one for your non baby bitch grub screws so let's take a look at the little gem ski itself now you're going to see this does not come with it, this airflow insert, but if you have a Wicked, all of your Wicked stuff will fit on here, so it's very nice in and of itself. Taking a look at the deck, a very scrunched up deck. I am not, wasn't exactly the biggest fan of this deck, but you can get good flavor out of it. So, I mean, you know, I feel like if they would have done something with this, didn't have to push this so far in, it would have been a lot better. I had suggested uh, when I first received this that you know, if you would have just made it like a C shape, then the coil would have sat right in the middle and it would have been a very good vape. You would have had 360 coverage. Well, almost 360 coverage, you know what I'm saying? 180 coverage, really. So taking a look, here is your fill port, nice little fill port with an O-ring. You have a sandblasted finish on this or a media blasted. Um, not a bad deal. I, I feel like these posts are wide open, so your coil will slip out sometimes. Uh, that's just the way it is. That's the way it functions. But we'll get back to that in just a second. I was sent a few different uh, airflow inserts, but I will show you the ones that I believe were in here when I received it. I, I've had this thing for a while, so just give me a break, you know what I'm saying? So you have your three-dot airflow, and it's all of these are very restricted. Uh, there none of these are wide open and it's going to go into one airflow and I believe these are about one millimeter Airflow holes, you know what I mean? And I believe the one on the back is a slight bit bigger than the three on the front So they converge into one so I believe they also sent This with it I could be wrong. These are three tiny little airflow holes All about one millimeter in diameter I believe 
And then you have this one as well. I believe this did come with it is the single airflow hole and this is going to be your mouth to lung type deal. So these two also, I believe I were sent for review. You're gonna have your two airflow hole right here, a little bit bigger holes and then your four tiny little uh, micro holes right there. And they do converge to two on the back. Now, like I said, if you have a, uh, Wick, a Wicked RDA, everything will fit. So this is one of the top caps that came with the Wick T. It is a, I believe, black Altum, or it is black PM or black Peak, but I do believe it is black Altum, and it is a unique style in and of itself. I believe you can put a 810 in here if you want, and it also has the 510 drip tip adapter with a 510 drip tip. The last cap that came with it is a just you know stainless steel little gem ski with a little accent cut into it. Uh, all are 510 drip tip uh, adaptable. So two more top caps that you'll see here. These are ones that came with the Wicked. This one came with the Wicked on my right. This one was sent for review on my left, but they will fit on the Wick T. A uh, little bit Hussar-esque, if you will, with the little fins going up, 510 drip tip adapted. So something I'll show you on the uh, inside of the stainless steel because it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, yeah, no domage going on, so for all you domage conspiracy theorists, ain't no domage going on, so get yourself some. Or not, don't get yourself some if you don't want it, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Single-sided airflow on all of them as well, I did forget to mention that. Uh, rather large airflow, uh, you know, air airflow insert or, you know, port, but there's no airflow inserts made that are this large, which I'm, it's kind of weird, you know? It, it, it's here to accommodate all, but they need to make a wide open one as well. They may have since I've done, you know, since I've had this, but I just have not seen it. So one last thing that I did not show you in the package. Um, yeah, you get a little bit of a business card type deal, Wick Addy, mine's number 26, 5, 15, 19. So that shows you how long I've had this. I've had this for a minute, almost two months. I wouldn't say I've had it since 5, 15, but I have had this at least for two months. Um, one last extra is the PMMA little barrel section. So if you like to get yourself some, you know, clear, you know, PMMA shit going on, well, there you go. So I ain't going to take this thing apart or nothing, but, um, you know, in order to, to, uh, take an airflow insert out, you are going to have to take this out. I mean, sometimes it'll just come out from turning, but you're going to have to take this out just like this and then you can start to unscrew the top part. So that's one of the negatives I did have for this is that you have to do that. Now, is it a big deal once you find an airflow insert you like? Um, not necessarily. It is held by a Phillips head screw. You're gonna have your two wick ports and your fill port. Taking a look at the inside. Let me zoom in for you, for you peeps out there, you know what I'm saying? Taking a look at the inside, uh, typical RDTA post, you're gonna have two little fill ports, one on each side. So this is one of those RDTAs that you're never gonna be able to fully fill it up by squonking because it will suck back whatever is up to that little uh, port right there. So that being said, I haven't had any leaking out the bottom, something a little bit unique. They have a dual O-ring situation going on to prevent leaking, so that's nice in and of itself. Just fits right up in there. Got a nice peak insulator, nice juicy sized uh, 510. Sticks out quite a bit. And you have a very narrowed down squonk hole. So let's put a build in this bitch. It's been a while since I've said that. Um, like here, you can see right here, once you put it back on, you are going to have to uh, screw it back in from the bottom because if not, it pushes your positive post up. So that's something you're gonna have to keep in mind. All right, so we got this sexy beast on top of the Fuchai, of course, because the Fuchai is all that matters in this life, in this world, if you will. So I am gonna build on this bitch, but I mean, it's a little bit hard to build on. I'm using round wire. As you can tell, my round wire is the cleanest and the classiest that you've ever seen. Seven wrap Canthal 24 gauge. Um, yeah, so this thing is a little bit of a bitch to build on, like I just said. Um, look how far away these posts are from each other. This is one of the things that I disliked about this little gem ski, or non-gem ski, some would say. It kind of looks like Elmo, if you look at it. Like, two eyes and a stupid fucking nose. I mean, 
not stupid nose. But yeah, it kind of looks like Elmo dog. But anyway, watch me fumble around till I can build this bitch. Okay, so you got to push it all the way over to there. Might want some pliers handy to pull this side in. And while you're pulling it in, hold it on the other side. And then, you know, just uh, clamp the bitch down because that's what you do when you build, you know what I'm saying? Just screw Elmo's eye down, you know what I'm saying, dog? But yeah, so that's how you're going to want it to look. Now uh, Elmo looks a little bit cross-eyed, if you will. Turn it this way, grab it with some tweezers if I wouldn't shake so goddamn much. Pull it on the other side. You're going to have to pull it in like, like I this, if you will. Just like this. Best way to do this is with pliers. I'm just saying. Now kind of hold this thing in. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this build section a little bit better than this. I, I don't have a decent enough table and the lighting is a little bit off at the moment. Like I said, I did start to switch around my area where I do stuff. So yeah, just like that guys, and it should be pretty decent. Um, let me zoom out just a tad. So just like that, kind of play around with it a little bit, but you're going to see how much space you do have with round wire compared to other wire. I mean, it's still pretty close if you look at it from that angle, but that's where you're going to want it, pretty close to the posts. Not touching the posts, really. You'd want to bring it out just a tad. So just like that, and you should be good to go. Um, you know, you might want to cut this wire right here if you don't want it to short, you know what I'm saying? But if you want it to short, just leave it. You know what I mean? The Elmo kind of looks a little drunk. You know what I'm saying? Let's give Elmo a smile. How about that? There we go. Perfect. Exactly how you want it. So, all right, guys. So the cotton I'm going to be using today, as always, and I've been waiting my whole goddamn life to say this to you, is cotton bacon. No. Not Kevin Bacon or Patrick Swayze from Footloose, but motherfucking cotton bacon. And then uh, the juice I'll be using is a suggestion from We609. Thank you for suggesting this Keep It 100 juice. Love it. But that being said... You don't need a lot of cotton in RDTAs as always. Uh, my problem is actually putting cotton through. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Good game. So I'll show you where I usually clip to. And of course, it wouldn't be my show if I didn't have wire cutters to cut my cotton. Because that's just my life in general, I guess. Oops, sorry guys, didn't mean to block you. Yeah, you don't need a lot of cotton in this. And I, I find that if you use too much cotton, it has a hard time wicking. And I, th I think, you know, as long as it's just resting on the base of the RDTA, you will wick properly and wick well. Now, I will fill this up through the fill port just to give you guys a, you know, bird's eye view of this bitch. So, very easy to fill up. Very nice little system there. So, yeah, that's it. And then you do, you want some juice on top? There you go. You put it on top just like some, uh, some fresh Parmesan, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about at this point, but there we go. Looks good, good to go. Which cap am I going to use? Let's go with the Hussar S. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. All right, so, you know, what's to be said about the wick tee? Well, let's start off with some negatives. But first, before we start off with some negatives, let me backtrack a little. All right, so, you know, the wicked and the wick tee... A lot of people were, you know, kind of felt like they were deceived a little bit because they felt like you were going to get a wicked vape with an RDTA style. Now, the RDTA phenomenon went on for a little bit and it's passed since I put a video out. Yes, people still make RDTAs and I'm glad because I like RDTAs. But that being said, um, this kind of vape... Compared to the wicked, the wicked vape... Two totally different styles of vape. If you like your bigger styles of vape and your bigger coils, you know, decent sized coils, lower ohm builds, you're definitely going to want to go with the Wicked. Now it's not an RDTA, but they, the thing is, I like different styles of vapes at different times. I try to stay at that 0.4-ish, 0.3, ohms and up, and both of these RD, RDA and RDTAs can accomplish that for me. I like that the parts are interchangeable, but let's, let's, you know, kick it back a second. 
The RDTA itself, I think a lot of people felt deceived because they thought they were going to get an, a wicked, a wicked, or a wicked, however you want to say it, RDA on top of an RDTA, but that wasn't the case. Um, you know, the deck on the wicked and the deck on the RD on the wicked are just two totally different things. If you like bigger builds, go with the wicked. If you like, you know, dainty type builds, maybe some round wires, some uh, small Claptons, go with the wicked. So let's start off with a little bit of back brief on the wicked, or even just, you know, this company in general. They are out of the Philippines, super cool, very good customer service, something that I cannot praise enough. I was sent this for review, it doesn't change my opinion, I'm going to tell you the things I like and dislike. You guys can make your opinion decision on whether you want it or not. So a couple things I didn't like were the fact that this thing is not easy to build on. You got to put a, a longer coil in this rather than a bigger coil to make it fit properly. You saw that you got to kind of use pliers, pull it, it's annoying. but. Once you get the build in, you're good to go and things should be nice. I don't like that you have to, you know, unscrew your positive post to put another type of airflow post in here if you want. Now, you know, once you get one you like, you're going to basically stick with it. Now, you do have to, after you pull off the top part, you're going to have to get an, uh, you know, Phillips head and you're going to have to unscrew it. So those are things you got to think about before, you know, you take it apart, you, what kind of build you want, this, that, the other. Um, the build quality I feel like is good. It's not bad. I didn't have any issues. There was no burrs, burrs, or anything like that. There was no dirt, nothing like that. I felt like they did good on that, so I can't really hate on the build quality. Um, I do feel like if you don't like restrictive vapes, you're not going to like the airflow posts that came with the wicket. I feel like they are definitely centered around round wire or mouth to lung type builds. If you don't like 510s, you may not like this, but there is this top cap and it does have a 810, I believe, opening. Um, other than that, I, I don't see any other issues. I heard people talk about pressure issues in the tank. I never had that. Now, if you're going to be squonking in it, you're never going to be able to fill it all the way up to the top and keep it because it's going to suck back down to those uh, fill holes. So let's move on to the positives. I like the fact that you can interchange any top cap, any airflow insert with the Wicked, with the Wick T, and that's that's a major plus. It kind of gives you an incentive to buy both, so that way you can interchange both as you please. I, I like the, the fill port method on this. It's pretty cool. Take it out, fill it. Now that can be a semi-negative because it can be a little messy. You might lose it, and then you're going to be kind of screwed. Uh, I like the different aesthetics of it. I like the different types of top cap. They didn't just go with one style, as you saw below. They had the stainless, they had the black altum, then they had the the Cerakoted type deal, which was with the original Wicked. And then they have the Sandblasted, which is on my Wicked right now. I like that it's a 510. I, I don't know that it came with any drip tips that I know of. I know it came with one, which was with the uh, top cap that has the interchangeable 510 drip tip adapter which is cool they have a 510 drip tip adapter with it i like that they included the allen keys which is always nice one for the grubbies one for the uh you know squonk pin other than that the flavor is good uh it does not leak which is always a great thing there is no locking mechanism but with our dtas i kind of give them a pass because you don't necessarily need one um as far as dry hits go let's take a couple hits I use my hands there for a little bit of theatric goodness for you. But yeah, no dry hits, and you saw that's about, that was like 100 hits in a row, easy. So yeah, no dry hits on this. I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, if you like a restricted style vape, if you like round wire, you like small Claptons, you like smaller coils, more, you know, higher ohms, less wattage, this is gonna be for you. Uh, other than that, if you like, you know, playing in the rain, you like pina coladas, you like mud bogging, you like, you know, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, ain't for you. If you like, you know, more of the classy, like, Indianapolis Colts type deal, you live in West Virginia, maybe, possibly, maybe, you will like this. But that being said, guys, customer service is great, like I said, everything about that's cool. I will try to find the price. I was sent this for a review. I will put a price up in this area now that I have a lot more area to put it in. 
I, it's in that hundo dollar range, 120-ish, 140-ish. I believe that's what it is. Might be cheaper now that it's about two months old. They will have another RDA coming out, I believe, called the Rewicked, which is supposed to be dual-sided airflow, which is nice. Also, forgot to mention, if you don't like single-sided airflow, not for you. That being said, guys, I do appreciate you all uh, trying to get this back area looking nice. That kind of took a little bit of leave of absence to try to make things look better. I, I wanted a new area, new space, and I think I accomplished that. I like this. There's still new things to come, maybe some more stuff in the background, all that good stuff. Uh, the channel's still growing steadily. I would like to give away some, you know, keep it 100 blue slushy. Uh, you know, times one down below. Go to the Facebook group to actually join for a chance to get the Keep It 100 Blue Slushy. The Facebook group is uh, Mountaineer Reviews. And, uh, you know, just come check us out. Would love to have you there and try to give some juice away. Um, if you are out of the country, you will have to pay for shipping, but if you're in, in, you know, in the country, in the United States, I'll send it to you, no big deal. So that being said, guys, do you, you, do you like some, some cotton? Maybe some tweezers? I know everybody likes some e-juice. Why don't you go check out Premium Vapes Fine use my discount code, whether that's here, or here, or here, one last place, here. Get 20% off your whole purchase. Yes, I said it, your whole purchase. One last little shameless little baby plug, check out Lion Wholesale, go get yourself some batteries, everybody needs batteries, maybe you just need batteries for a flashlight, oh well, use it for that too. So, at the end of the day guys, I do thank every single one of you. Uh, I want the channel to keep growing steadily. I like, you know, interacting with you guys on Monday with myself, Eric the Vaping Politician, and William from Cooper's Vaping View and a special guest. We love to see you guys in the chat every Monday night. It is a great time for all of us. We hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the channel. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. Maybe you could subscribe every once in a while. You know, just saying. I had a video with 24,000 views. Maybe half of you could give me a shot. Maybe give me a chance, really. Give the underdog from a small state a chance. Nah, I'm kidding. But at least hit the like button. Maybe hit that bell icon. Maybe you can find some of my videos for once in your life. But that being said, guys, I do appreciate every single one of you. And let's do this. Type cap. And it looks very nice. Looks nice on this Fuchai. I know a lot of people like Fuchai. But that being said, let's go back up on top. Let's discuss this bitch.